What's up guys, today of course you're going to see some Battlefield 4 sniping highlight footage, as promised. Quick introduction before we get to the, the meat, on, meat on the bone of the video. Uh, if you have any commentary, discussion topics, or you want to hear me talk about anything, or you want to ask questions for a Q&A or whatever you want, post it in the comments here, or secondly, go and follow my Twitter. I've been pushing social media a lot because I have regularly neglected it in the past, so go follow my Twitter. Go follow my Facebook, more so Twitter. Facebook, I'm probably not going to follow as much. So go do that. Don't waste time if you haven't done it. Go do it now. Say hi. That's how I know you're following. So go do that. Uh, and post anything you want, commentary, discussion topics, questions for me, anything like that. So do that. And to get to the commentary today, of course, I wanted to talk about Battlefield 1. As a full disclosure, before I get into the logistics of discussing it, I have not played the alpha, I have not gone through the trials and tribulations and concerns and learning curves associated with playing that alpha, so, and that's why I hesitated to post videos about any news or concerns that came up with Battlefield 1, because having not played it, I can't give a really thorough and educated viewpoint on exact issues that were being discussed. And the discussions, of course, are based on a Reddit post, if I forget to link that in the description, remind me, and I will. Uh, and to those that have played it, let me know your thoughts and concerns, because of course having played it, your opinion might be more valued than someone that has it. But what, the commentary discussion topic I wanted to go about today will discuss things that I believe you can talk about having not played it. Like there's sort of hot button concerns that, uh, like say 3D spotting, the one I'm going to talk about in a second, uh, that's been in all Battlefield games. There might have been a different implementation or different style in Battlefield 1, but we can all discuss it because we've all experienced it. So I'm going to stick to ones that I've sort of experienced in previous Battlefield itineraries that might have been altered for the good or the worse. So that's going to be the format. Let's ball. With regard to 3D spotting, as I was talking about, uh, a lot of people, it's always a hot button issue. A lot of people either absolutely detest even the notion of it. They want it completely removed and the script burned for, from the rest of society to even see it again. Uh, and other people don't care. They like it. Uh, I find myself in the middle ground as usual. I never usually pick one side because both sides that pick one side usually don't have the most informed opinions on it. So I usually f uh, pick the middle. And in my case, I'd like to keep it in the game but maybe alter it a bit. And here's the logic why. Agree, disagree, that's your opinion. Uh, I like 3D spotting as a team. Like, my, my biggest concern is the same people that push for Battlefield to be the ultimate team-based, play the objective style of game, some of those people actually would like it removed. And I guess the reasoning would be it could be a crutch, it could be uh, a target all button. And I, I can see the concerns. I mean... Uh, playing commander mode in Battlefield 4, or at least being on the team that had, or the opposing team had a good commander, I can understand why. Having an, uh, a UAV in the air at all times, sort of designating where you are, killed flanking, killed the, and the, killed the ebb and flow of the game, and it sucked. It's part of the reasons why I, Battlefield 4 never really caught on huge with me. Uh, and 3D spotting is a result of that. It can also be a detriment to the game. I understand that argument. But I don't understand the reasoning behind removing it for that reason. So put it this way. 3D spawning, because uh, 99% of this game is going to be casual, is not competitive, and not professional. So having something to spot to let your team know where potential dangers and threats are and how to go about neutralizing them is great teamwork. How could you do this with 99% of the community not on the microphone communicating with each other? How can you do this with 99% of the community uh, doing their own thing, lone wolf and call of duty as you would say, not to stereotype. But, I mean, how would you without spotting? And that's why I think it has to stay in the game. Uh, but I would like it altered, having said that. I don't like the idea uh, of spotting people 500 plus meters away with that sort of like 3D Dorito over their head. I feel that is a bit overkill. And the reason why directly related to Battlefield 1 to smoothly transition, as I've seen you just suspect me do, is a recent announcement of the passive 3D spotting. And I wish I had footage of it, but I don't. Uh, I've seen it regularly now with the passive 3D spotting where if you get within, I think it's what, 5 to 10 meters of someone, it just immediately pops up. 
Uh, and a DICE dev came out and said that, yes, it's overpowered and it was a bug. But I think the community sort of misinterpreted that wording. It didn't sound like the dev had said that it was uh, a bug. It just sounded like the, the time that it comes up or maybe the radius that it comes up was a bug. Uh, and that was a concern. <laughs> so it sounds like passive 3D spotting is going to stay in the game. And that is one thing I don't approve of. Uh, I've seen lots of people in the subreddit defend it, saying along the lines of, uh, well, you know, uh, this isn't for done. You can go play another game. It's it's okay. Uh, but when have we ever needed this? No, honest to God, when, have, when has it ever been needed? I think it sort of takes the immersion out of it as well, because if you know a guy's in the building and you're breaching into that building, you know that like if there are hallways, you'll have to check one corner and then check or check one side, then the other before you actually barge in. Might want to take your time. Might want to go in quickly. Depends. But not knowing that he's on the radar makes you make that choice. And that immersion is fun. If you know where he is in the building, it sort of kills that immersion. And it's sort of an auto spot for you. That I don't like. I'd actually prefer to see uh, the, the proximity 3D spotting removed. And I think the reasoning behind it in the devs is said, Oh, we don't want someone mashing the spot button when they don't know where they are in the building. And that way we can, you know, get into easier fights. But... I don't think that's really needed. Uh, if I've ever lost a guy, I deserve to lose. And I, I'd eventually track him down if I thoroughly searched the building. It would just take a little longer. So I don't really see the need for it. I'd actually prefer to see that one removed. Uh, and the, two, the, the last two that I can discuss is the melee system. And again, having not played it... Uh, I can't fully disclose, but I've seen tons and tons of footage on this, and I've seen non-stop complaints out of the community, and I think it's justified. Apparently, it's 80 instant damage from the front using this, and it has the animation. And I had previously discussed this a couple months ago in one of my last Battlefield 4 videos discussing this, and it, uh, I thought there was concern, and I think there is major concern in it now. And again, it's the alpha. It might get lowered to a, a two-swipe 50% damage similar to the along the lines of Battlefield 3, and I'd be okay with that. But an 80-plus from the front, especially with a t an, an animation starting at any angle, is a huge concern for me. Uh, I don't like the idea of this at all. I really hope they either lower the overall base damage implementation, or they just change that animation. But I don't think they will, because it seems like trailers and a whole bunch of aspects about the game have sort of been based around melee mechanics being a big part of the game, so I, don't, I doubt it gets changed a ton which is unfortunate, but maybe lowering the base damage would alleviate some concerns. With regard to the last point, uh, the one that really bugs me again, not as much as the other, uh, is the sort of, uh, I guess, I don't know what to call them, like, when you capture a flag, you get a new flag assets, I guess. Uh, I don't like these. I don't like the idea of it at all. I think, uh, in an attempt to sort of balance out things, I think it's sort of overkill. You have a team that uh, was doing badly to begin with. All of a sudden, giving them an asset might suddenly change the ebb and flow of the battle. But I don't feel it'll work that way. I feel like it's just one more clutter added to the game. Uh, it's just one more thing you have to look out for in the sky. And a good team will just completely counter it. Uh, I don't like the idea of the behemoth or the big airship, to be honest. I, I, I wish it was sort of maybe map specific. Um... I don't like the idea of it potentially being in all maps, and I don't like the idea of it being spawned in because of, like, say, one flag or at a certain ticket count. I d basically, I don't really like the idea of flag assets unless it was going to be something smaller, like, say, uh, the equivalent of uh, what would be an Amtrak in battle in Battlefield 1, of 1, something along those lines, like a transport vehicle or, or some, the equivalent of what would be a Jeep or something like that. Something that can help people transition between flags to still play the objective without having the ability to regularly kill or really dictate the ebb and flow of the match. I feel like it takes away from it. If the whole goal is to take flags and fight uh, infantry or vehicles between, don't just have one randomly spawn for another team. I don't like the idea of that at all. I feel, I feel it would either kill balance or just kill immersion or whatever you wish. So, I don't know. Agree, disagree. 
Here's my thoughts. See you later.